Hello, great minds. You're welcome back to class. Today, we shall be looking at the plot of the novel The Clock by Ngozi Chima Uzosike. The story opens with Mama Wako's proposed storytelling section at the village square. Everyone in the village had hurried home from their various locations to meet up with the event in spite of the gathering clouds. The villagers believed the rain would not fall because the retailer has enough magical power to stop it. Indeed, a large audience turns up for the event, but Mama Wanko did not show up. No one seemed to know our whereabouts. After waiting for a considerable length of time, Chizoba, one of Mama Wanko's assistants, decided to dismiss the crowd. Later that day, the community declares Mama Wanko missing and sets up a search party to come nearby bushes and forests. Mama Wanko is a notable person in Aka village who has helped to mold the characters of all Akamo people. Meanwhile, Mama Wanko is on admission at the St. Monica's Specialist Hospital, Oweli, the capital city of state. Her children brought her to the hospital on account of her sickness, unknown to her town people. At the hospital, she meets with Prophet Isaac and sent him to tell her friend Umbafo and Eze Wango her uh, whereabouts. But for weeks, Prophet Isaac did not go home, go to Akamo because he has a crusade in a nearby village. When the news reached Akamo people, Umbafo and the entire villagers were excited. Mbafo visited the hospital. Eze Wango and his traditional council also sent a three-man delegation with gifts and money to Mama Owanko. Dr. Nkechi Obina is Mama Owanko's doctor. She recognizes Mbafo instantly. She was their junior at Akamu Community Secondary School, ACSS. Dr. Nkechi Obina was Umbafo's school daughter at the school. She was so happy to see her but was not happy at her physical appearance. She could see that Umbafo is going through hardship. She therefore finds a way to lift her and Mama Wanko out of poverty. Dr. Nkechi Obina read medicine in America under the sponsorship of Dr. Rita Eze. The Catholic missionary orphanage where she grew up helped her to win Dr. Eze's scholarship. Inkechi introduces another old girl from Akamu Community Secondary School to Mama Owankor and Mbafo. She is Dr. Inkiru Chinemiri. Together they recollect their interesting moments at school. Dr. Nketi plans to use the influence of Miss Umweke, a member of the group, to improve the lives of Mama Owako, Umbafo, and the entire commun Akamo community. Umweke works in an international organization for the welfare of depressed women in developing countries. Mama Owako's homecoming was a great celebration in Akamo clan. Mama Wanko thanked the people of Akamu for their support while in the hospital and for their welcome party. A speech about marginalization of women in Akamu using her own ill treatment by her father offends the majority of men present. Taking a clue from Mama Wanko, other women like Iruka Mbeke narrated their own woeful experiences in the hands of men. In her concluding speech, Mama Wanko tells the women to remain bold that civilization will soon overtake man's present narrow mind view. 
mama wako anugba for pay visit to Dr. Nkechi Obina and Inkiro on appointment. They later formed themselves into a body called Five Fingers of Friendship, FFF. With their international partners and support from the government, the group transformed Akamo from a rustic village to an urban town with a network of good roads, government offices, vocational school, and ultra-modern markets. So this is the end of the plot of the novel The Clock by Ungozi Chima Uzoziki. Thank you for listening. See you in the next class. Bye.